What's up and welcome to another episode of Making the Game Songbringer. I'm your friendly friend, Wizard Fu, and today I will be putting the head back on the god statue in the sword cave as an Easter egg for once you complete the uh, once you complete fighting the new boss. You gain the, the parry ability, which means you've kind of mastered all the sword's abilities. This god is sort of like guarding the sword cave where you're at, so it kind of makes sense to put the head back on it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, a little bit of pixel art, a little bit of code, and boom, Easter egg. So, let's start with the pixel art, yeah. We'll get another frame of this going. Well, actually, let's get this some... Separate out these. I'm, um, I've swapped my hands on my keyboard. I mean, uh, I have this little keyboard set up where it's kind of a custom thing. I got a wireless keyboard and one of these track pads that's wireless as well. Um, what's kind of neat about it though is I can swap it. So the trackpad could be on the left or the trackpad could be on the right. I've noticed that my right shoulder is super duper low. I'm constantly got this habit of putting my um, shoulder down. It's kind of causing me a lot of pain in my back, in my sh right shoulder. So I'm trying to use my left hand now to mouse or to trackpad and do pixel art. So this is going to be kind of an experimental stream. Luckily though, it looks like I do have uh, the old head here, so I don't have to really draw a new one. Um, but so there we go. So that's what that would look like. Oh, there's the shadow for that one. Okay, let's separate this shadow onto its own layer as well. All right. Cool. So we got that, and this is what the old head looked like. Need to apply some kind of hue saturation and stuff. Get this all aligned. Whoops. Let's put that on top. This is the, um, this statue has four he four faces. I'm freaking in love with these statues. Like I see them all over Asia. I don't know what they mean yet, uh, but they fascinate me. I will need to do a little pixel art here. This is kind of a little bit. Oh, I did clean this up when I first drew, drew this a little bit, but I still want to do a little, let's do that right now. Okay. I'd have to, I really have to swap all my shortcuts. I got shortcuts for all my Photoshop tools, but they match to my left hand. So I need to create them for my right hand as well. But I don't think right now is the optimal time for that. So let's just draw one-handed. Oops, this is definitely difficult. It's a challenge. Drawing with your other hand. See, this was like a square. Oh, this is, I'm amazed that I can even do this. Okay, slowly but surely. There we go. That gives it sort of this, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Good, good. I remember cleaning up this art actually when I first drew it. I um. Okay, so let's take uh, let's make this the right hue and all that. I'm just gonna permanently do it because that's how I roll. I used to do a lot of effects where I'd be like, oh, I'm going to throw this hue saturation on here as a separate layer so I can always change it later if I want to, but sometimes it's simpler just to permanently apply, apply things. I know that I desaturated this, so let's apply 
the right. Okay, that's a little too much for me. Right about there. Maybe a little more. Yeah, it's just too much. Right about there. Oh, that's exactly where it was. Okay. What else was there here? There's a slight hue shift, is there not? No. Yes? No. No, I guess there's not. It's like, all this just looks wrong when I try to add any hue shift. And the lightness is probably about the same too. If I mess with this. Oh, it is a tiny bit lighter. Okay. This is a nice little art exercise for anybody. You know, it's, if you're just kind of learning art and stuff, um, it's a great little exercise to play with values. Like, to take some... Here's the game you play. Like, just draw a color, any random color, right? Or, or actually what you could do is, like, pick a color from some image and then draw a little patch of color from that. And then go to the color palette and try and create that exact same color. Get as close as you can. It's an amazing exercise. It'll teach you a lot. <clears throat> it's not bad. But I still think it needs a little more or less saturation, just slightly. Yeah, a little more lightness. Not bad. Okay, enough messing with it. Here's the sword statue. Whole new sword statue. Okay, so let's export this as something else. What was this originally called? <clears throat> it's just called sword statue. That's it, sword statue. And had some collisions and stuff. So we're gonna do, let's export this first. This belongs in sheets, backgrounds, not bosses. Lefty! Here we go, okay, sword statue. Oh. Okay, let's get that compiled. Sprite sheet. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate this whole nano sword cave entity. Call it Nano Sarah Cave Hole. It's gonna have the same position, same dais. The sword statue is gonna be whole though. Uh, same color, same. Da -da -da. The statue has its own collision, but the statue two, I believe, is what we don't want, right? It's a size forty. But yeah, position negative fifty-five. That's the that's the one on the left. And we don't need a scanner beam because. You have to have already gotten the sword to for, to trigger this Easter egg because you need the parry and all that. So, holy crap! I just realized you can get the parry without having the sword. Okay, we need to fix that too. Shoot, I'm gonna note that on my little running list of notes. Um, make it so the sword is required to. Fight in the arena. What the heck just happened? You know what? You should be able to fight in the arena, but make it so the sword is required to gain parry there. That's really what it's about. So yeah, you can fight the whole arena if you're a badass without the sword. 
Okay, we got this little no enemy zone. Don't really need that. We don't really need the. Oh, I, uh, I guess we need that item thing though. Let's keep the. Mm, yeah, let's keep that. Okay, now we'll need the. I think it this creates a. No, let's find where it creates it. Nano sword cave. Oh. Oh, really? This should be K tile misc. Ooh, I don't want to change all that. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, we gotta be brave about this. Right, this uh, I could probably. Huh. I think we're gonna have to remove this K tile sword and make it a K tile misc. And then use the miscellaneous function to create this. Um, yeah, see, it does look like they're only okay. Yeah, here it is. The pattern sword uses a static invincible sword lay pillar pillar pillar. Yeah, we can use misc right here. Misc. Do not need K tile sword. Gotta be brave. Take this out. We'll test it. Make sure it works. This was this is ancient code here. I, had, I created some new systems and stuff that were some, kind of more smartly handled these sort of miscellaneous tiles. Back in the day, I was like, oh, we need a separate tile for the, each little thing. Okay, so K-Tile Sword, we're getting rid of that. And then when we create <coughs> a misc tile inside, let's see, this is the ship Z, otherwise we got... Everything else, let's do, okay, pattern sword. The name will be Nano Sword Cave, unless we have the parry ability. Might as well just throw that, it is logic right here. So we got, <clears throat> where's the player? Is the player yet? Perry. It's kind of long, eh? I guess maybe we should. Um, I might need to add this check invalid thing here. Oh, no, it's not going to be an invalid pause. All right, well, we should be good. So if you have the parry, we use a nanosword cave hole. Otherwise, we use nanosword cave. So um, we need to check that um, if you have the parry, the script, the statue is whole. If you do not have parry, the statue is broken, and if you don't have the sword, the sword is still on the ground. You can fight the original, the, the 
first mini boss guy, and make sure all that stuff still works. Look at that, 1.111 seconds. Oops. Yes, look at that. Still got a hit. What? What happened? Can't find entity named scanner. Okay, so we took away the scanner. We kind of need it. We don't need this scanner. Yeah, let's just keep things from crashing there. It wouldn't crash in uh, release mode, but it's just an assertion failure crash there, which means debug all. Cool, we got, yes, this looks cool. I love it. We got ahead again, man. Oh, the scanner beam. Oh, the scanner beam should just be on top then. Cool, this is kind of neat, actually. I don't know how you would get this to happen this way. So scanner beam should be like at zero, 39. Maybe should we just guess? I think that it's better to just measure this. It's, um, first go, well, this is so hard with the left hand. Oh, oh. Okay. Up, how many pixels? 85-ish. See if that works. 85, and the math could be all based on something else. I'm not sure if that's what it needs to be, but let's see. Mid plus nineteen thirty nine. I mean, gosh, this just needs to be mid plus a lot, so let's just guess it's about the same as it. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. This oh, it needs to go higher for sure. Like this was higher? Let's find out. It looked like it was right below his chin, which means it needs to go up by possibly 18 or 19 pixels, which would be 104, 103. This is the WTF method. You just guess, you fix the mathematics. What do we call that? Guess and check. Oh yeah. Guess and check. It's kind of a, a guess and check. Okay, we gotta go at least three more pixels. Go one pixel to the right too. Hopefully that's the last check. Guess. Guess check. This is actually, we might actually need these scale four. Is this really four pixels? Or did I draw it? Oh, it is four by four. Okay, well that explains it. So this should be zero and this one should be six, I think. God has a mustache. Yes. That's so cool. I'm like, why is it? It's a little slow because I'm streaming. I mean, cool video. Save game you can. Okay, let's just make 
make sure that you can't, right, you can walk here, good. Um, you can walk around in here, you can hit it, the sparks are flying. Looks like we're good. Wait, what's this? Oh, no, looks like, looks like there is something here. What's that? Oh, I put one, okay. So, that is actually... A static tile. Static invincible tile. Which is probably this one right here, W2 minus 3, yeah. Um, can this be conditional? It creates... It creates the world... I mean, this is this will only be accurate if you've saved and loaded again, which you probably have. This really isn't that much of an issue. Let's just um, do it that way. If do we have the hero? Yeah. Don't tell me you don't have game scene in here. Maybe that would make sense, actually. Area patterns. Should, wait. Yeah, hello. Okay. See, it's kind of a reminder that this is a bad thing to do. Because it doesn't work at all in all cases. Is there, is there a better way to do this? You would have to like get rid of that static tile. I don't, I'm not really sure there is a better way to do it. Maybe it should be the misc tile when it cre gets created. It should go. And erase the single static tile. That doesn't sound right. Oh, I know what to do. Actually, yes. So it'd be good to do it this way. So we got it like that. This is how the world is created. There's this function called restore tile data. Restore adjacent, restore tiles, I think, is actually. Restore tile data, here it is. This gets called an area. Once things are all set up and the. So this is the sword pattern. Oh. Damn it. Here we should have the hero, I imagine. No? Alright. Whatever. So if it's a sword pattern, player has the parry, we're gonna call blocks set.
where's that position of that? I mean, this is going to become a different kind of tile. Oh wait, is this uh, this is, might be called after it creates. Where does it go? Store tiles here. They didn't begin. That's after it's already created the area though. Let's see if restore tiles is called. Here it is. World restore tiles. Set map load map positions. Set hero states. This might actually work because it loads the game, restores all the tile data after it's created the world. Imagine if you got the parry and then went back. Ah, this is really not that important. It's like a one little invisible tile. If you, if you do have the, if it does mess up, all it is is that there's one little invisible tile there. I'm lost. Um, let's at least verify that uh, gets called. And then we'll make sure all the existing sword stuff still works. And this can be checked in. This will be a cool Easter egg. <laughs> what the? Did anybody else see that? That was my script going haywire. That's better. Okay, let's run this. Fingers crossed. Legs are not crossed. Toes are also not crossed. Image loader? Is there a, oh yeah, it's just because we got a weird breakpoint, huh? Oh yeah, it's just here, throw a breakpoint at the beginning of Come on, script work. Bloom! Breakpoint there, yeah. Ha, huh. okay, yeah, load game, restore tiles. Let's see if it gets called again. So we do have the parry, so it's setting the block to be none. I do believe this is before it creates the area. But does it call? No, it is not, good. Okay, so we got, right, so that invisible tile is gone. So that is that invisible tile. And sparks and stuff. Um,
it does work. And once again, I'm really not concerned if this does not get called. It's just a freaking little invisible tile. I think the one case where it wouldn't get called is if you go and you gain the parry ability and you walk all the way back to the sword cave in the same run without saving and quitting, it might it might have a little invisible tile. Not a big deal. Okay, let's go check. If we don't have parry, the god statue should have its head off. Okay, let's do the final verification here. If we do not even have the sword, let's even start at the beginning. Walking around without the sword. There's so many other items. How did I get all this stuff? Ferret drones. Oh, by the way, ferret drones are a little smarter now. They show you where items are that don't count for 100% items, but what they combine into counts. So in, in a sense, they count indirectly. Um, there are several items I know of that do that. There's the Serira, where there's up to 14 of those in each world. And then there's also the Barrel, which combines into Poison Armor. Or what's it called? Oh yeah, the, the playa dust. So anyways, those items now show up. This one right here I happen to know is one of the Samira. So it shows up when you use the ferret drones now, which is cool. Ferret drones are a little more accurate, basically. Good, we got a, still got a sword. How's everything look? Looking good. Oh, that just turned white because I did all that debugging view. Okay, I'm picking up the sword. Yeah, this is all good. There's no worries changing to using instead of getting the tile sword, you can tile this. Obviously all of it is still there, it's got the statue, it's got the dais. Confirmation if we walk and if we have parry but not the sword. Let's see, let's make sure this doesn't break anything. Doesn't make any logical sense how you would get this. But it works. We have a statue. Oh, oh yeah, so we're not gonna... Okay, yeah, let's, let's walk out of here. Did I start here? I can't remember where I started. this over, add that new file, 
We have these files to be checked in. That looks right. Let's check that code. Right, we had this new entity, which is a whole new sword cave, basically, if you have parry. Let's make sure this is all cool. Position, render, children, statue, statue, poison, scanner beam, enemies on, item. Oh, that's why, it, that's why the sword worked. Yeah, so this would have, this was quite necessary too. Um, yeah, special cases for when you restore tile data, if it's a pattern sword and you have parry, it gets rid of that tile. It's a little minor touch. Pattern sword, we're creating a mist tile. If the hero has parry, we're creating a nano sword cave hole. Otherwise, we create the nano sword cave. We get rid of the tile sword. We're using tile misc instead. That's all. Beautiful. Boom! Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to do for this little video. I've got a lot of little things left to do. This is kind of like, sometimes I do this little running list of um, notes. I really should convert all these into Trello items, but I sometimes like to do this because I just want to get it all done before I even mess with Trello. But some of this stuff is probably going to have to get pushed into the Trello. But anyways, there's there, like you can see here, there's a lot of little things left to do in that arena room to get the new boss and the arena when you fight him and stuff like that, all just like really polished up. Um, but it's Saturday. I'm going to go get some dinner and just relax and stuff. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support as always. And... Um, we'll catch you on the next video.